Well, I've been asked to talk about five of my favourite goals at Portsmouth. Um, not being one for convention, I'm going to actually do six. So you have to forgive me there, but I just couldn't pick between a couple of them. Uh, right, first goal I'm going to talk about. My sixth favourite goal is uh, the third goal in the hat-trick I scored against Wolves. Uh, I'd only just left Wolverhampton as a club. I hadn't really done myself justice. Uh, the move to Pompey was a little bit acrimonious from their perspective and I didn't get an overly uh, warm welcome, I've got to say, from their fans. But it was nice to at least show them that I could play a little bit because I certainly hadn't done that in my tenureship at, uh, at their club. So it's a fantastic football club, Wolves. Um, it was a shame it didn't work out for me there, but as I said, I did want to go to Pompey. I've made it um, clear in no uncertain terms and it was nice to show the Wolves fans that I could actually play a little bit. Fifth favourite goal will be uh, West Brom away. Uh, I'm going, this is my only goal I'm going to go, uh, as in the quality of the goal over sentiment. Obviously, with regards to quality, I didn't have an awful lot to choose from, but um, it's one of their goal. Uh, I think Adam McLaughlin played it over the top and I took it a couple of touches and put it into the top corner. Um, and it's one of the few goals I think I've ever scored from outside the box. I had to keep looking at it to see exactly how far out it was. Um, but uh, no, no, it was, uh, for me it was <laughs> it was sort of a, a goal of high quality. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick that one in there just because of that. Allow me that um, that one indiscretion. Fourth favourite will be Swindon away. We were on a little bit of a bad run. I think we'd not scored for four and a half hours the side. I'd been out for three or four games, came back in and um, thankfully I think I managed to get a couple. It was at a stage of the season where we looked like we might get dragged into the, uh, the relegation mire. So it was a big game and it just gave us that little bit of breathing space. Third top goal will be uh, Palace away. It was, um, we were 2-0 down at half time. I was actually, um, this was under my tenureship as manager or um, stand-in or caretaker or... I still don't actually know what my title was. I think my idea of what my title was was a little bit different to the man who'd uh, above me in the hot seat, so to speak. So um, I'm still, still trying to work it out even now what my role actually was at that period of time. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll stick to manager, although it might be a little bit of a loose term for me. Um, we didn't have any wide players. I remember Kerry Hughes having a double hernia and we were bereft of players, certainly wide players. And I think we had about 12 injuries at the time. So I went from a 4-4-2 to a 3-5-2. We managed to turn it round and win the game 3-2, which was obviously, from my perspective, very pleasing. Second favourite goal has got to be my first goal um, I scored at home. I think it was against Sheffield Wednesday, uh, just after I'd been made the, um, the uh, yes, the manager of um, the club so uh, yeah I think it was Darren Moore headed the ball across and I got across the near post got in front of the defender and headed it high into the into the net and um, I think we actually won the game 2-1 uh, so a little bit like all my Christmases have come at once actually you, know, you get named the manager of the football club that you've supported since you were a boy uh, and you score a goal and uh, you win the game so uh, your first goal uh, sorry, your first game and you're winning it and you're scoring a goal as part of it. So um, for me, it was a wonderful, wonderful day and one I won't forget. Obviously, my top goal, and this might leave <laughs> people scratching their heads a little bit here because it was it was against Stockport. Um, the club at this stage were in, were in real problems. We were certain to get relegated. Um, uh, I think we were like six or seven points adrift at this stage, running out of games, uh, running out of belief. Um, I remember my first game when I came to Portsmouth, it was Oxford away and we got beat 3-0 and I, I'm thinking, blimey, I can't, I can't remember, I remember playing for a worse team this, it was absolute you know, carnage and disarray. But fans stuck with us, we managed to turn it round and this night, re night really was one of those seminal nights for me that I will never forget. Uh, eight and a half, sorry, 85,000 people, sorry, eight and a half thousand people, I digress. Um, were at the game. You would have thought it was 85,000 people, the amount of people who said that they actually went to it. Um, the fans sang Alan Ball's Blue and White Army for the entire 90 minutes, and I don't exaggerate there. They certainly they, they did. I remember it very, very well. Uh, and I managed to get my first goal for the football club. So, um, yes, Stockport at home, 
Never stop raining, wet Tuesday night, hardly sounds like an auspicious occasion. But let me tell you, if you were there, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. Thank you.